Hello everybody and welcome back to another video from HSTV and in today's video I am going to be sharing some medical fun facts that you probably didn't know and the great thing is it's all about you and your human body and my human body. Um, now if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, I'm actually a medical student at the University of Edinburgh, not quite a doctor yet but hopefully in the future and I just think that the human body is extraordinary. I love studying about it. And and if I want to do something on this YouTube channel, it's actually to put my passion of medicine out there and actually let you guys know some of the things that I study about and, you know, increase the knowledge and the awareness of certain topics um, out there in the world. So um, if I can do that with the little bit of knowledge that I gain, I think I will be a very happy person and hopefully you guys will go away and um, get something from this as well. So um, this video was actually requested on my Instagram. Now, if you have not followed the Instagram there is literally no reason why you should not because if you're watching this video you probably like me a little bit you probably like the channel you might have subscribed and you've clicked on this video so please 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 go in the description and follow the HSTV Instagram at HSTV official I actually put up a story on there and you guys gave me video suggestions so please get involved with the channel get all the extras behind the scenes and see what I do in my day-to-day -day life as well because YouTube is only a little part um, and yeah without further ado I hope you guys find this video interesting if you do let me know in the comments um, I do reply to every single comment so um, please do come chat to me um, and yeah let's get on to the video Fact number one is if you hear itis, which is very common at the end of any condition, it means inflammation. So conditions like arthritis means inflammation of the joints. There's a lot of Latin in medicine and itis is one of the most common endings that you will find on most conditions. So now you know anytime anyone says, I don't know, pericarditis, you know that that's clearly inflammation of the wall of the heart. Now we've heard a lot about the importance of vitamin D, but did you know it plays such a vital role in the absorption and regulation of calcium in the body? So it doesn't matter how much milk or yogurt or cheese you're eating and drinking, if you're not getting enough vitamin D, it's no use. So make sure you go and get some sun while you have it in the summertime. Obviously put sun cream on, um, but you know, you, you, you get what I mean. Now, did you also know that a hormone called leptin can be inactivated due to a mutation that can occur in the human body? Now, leptin in its normal working form helps us to regulate our hunger levels. And if leptin is not there, then we can feel excessively hungry and that can lead to obesity, which is not great for a lot of obese people out there who are suffering with this kind of condition and they get judged and bullied and so on online and in person. It's not good because sometimes it can be down to a medical condition and we should be very wary of that. Did you also know that people who use recreational drugs on a regular basis such as cocaine, heroin, etc. and or are smokers as well need a higher amount of anesthesia when they are put to sleep for surgery for example and this is due to them actually desensitizing their receptors and it means that they need more of the anesthesia drugs in order to fall asleep for surgery and you know a lot of the time we've seen that in surgeries people don't admit or people don't want to take tell doctors that um, they use drugs or they smoke and stuff like that. Honestly, doctors and the doctors that I've seen at least, they don't really care. No one's gonna report you for using drugs. You need to let the doctors know so that they can give you an appropriate amount of anesthesia. And if you don't, the anesthetist will probably know if you have used recreational drugs in the past. So just be careful of that. Now, most people will suffer from an iron deficiency at some point in their lifetime, and it's very, very common. Now, I'm going to tell you a fact here that might actually help you to regulate iron in your diet. So, there are two types of irons found in our diet. One is called heme iron, and heme iron is found in meat. It is nice and it is well absorbed in the body. There's also non-heme iron, and that is actually found in your cereals and vegetables, and that is not as well absorbed in the body. So, red meat is a great source of iron if you are feeling iron deficiency or if you just want to get a kick of iron throughout the day it's a great source and I highly recommend it. Now the next fact I'm going to tell you is actually pretty pretty mind-blowing and that is for every breath you take every time you inhale you take in between 100,000 and 1 million microorganisms and 700 of those live in your body on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. 
Now you probably know that your stomach has acid in it, you know, we probably all suffer from acid reflux or heartburn or something along those lines, but did you know that that acid is actually strong enough to dissolve you and kill you? It doesn't because of the lining in your stomach quite cleverly keeps it contained inside and it doesn't let it damage the rest of your body. But that is why acid reflux can be very uncomfortable and not a nice sensation. Now, you may think that when things go wrong in the body, it will always lead to a really bad condition or a disease. Well, actually, things are going wrong in our body all the time. But why it doesn't lead to a bad condition or disease is because our body has mechanisms in place which fix things as soon as they go wrong. And one of the coolest mechanisms is called apoptosis, which means programmed cell death. And this will essentially mean that anytime a cell is not growing properly, i.e. it's overgrowing so it can form a tumor or undergrowing as in also that's not good, then it will just kill that cell off and this is very regulated, it's very controlled and in no way does it damage anything in the surroundings. So it's a brilliant mechanism and if it wasn't there, we'd all be suffering from cancer and tumours all day long. Okay, now the next fact that you may hear around the hospital or from your doctor friends is the word dyspnea and it actually means shortness of breath. But be careful not to mix this up with dysphagia which is actually difficulty swallowing. Okay, now this one is to impress your friends. The term orthostatic hypotension describes the sensation in which we are sitting down and then we kind of dramatically stand up and we get this kind of blackout sensation. Now really what this is, is your body trying to adjust its blood pressure because when you're standing up, we need more blood pressure to reach our brain. And when you're sitting down, we're in a more relaxed position so the blood pressure is lower. And really it's just your body trying to go from a low blood pressure to a high blood pressure and when that blood doesn't quite reach your brain quick enough that's when you experience that kind of blackout feeling some people can actually even faint and it can be a symptom of anemia as well so be careful but yeah it's a pretty cool term and I'm sure it's a sensation we've all felt at some point now the next one is actually tackling a bit of a misconception. A lot of people think that getting a fever is bad. Now I guess it's indirectly bad because something has attacked your body which should not be there and the body is warning you with a fever. So the fever itself is actually not bad because it's a signal for your immune system to kick in and start fighting whatever has gone wrong. Now any external viruses, bacteria, fungi that could have attacked your body are called pathogens and pathogens can release something called pyrogens and the part in your brain which regulates temperature is called the hypothalamus and when these pyrogens are released they tell the hypothalamus to crank up the temperature so the immune system and all the white blood cells and neutrophils and everyone can come in to fix and see what the problem is so this is the reason why sometimes doctors might not give you paracetamol or panadol or any of these antipyretic fever reducing drugs because a fever is helping your body to fight and paracetamol lowers fever and therefore your body can't fight as effectively. Now of course if you're suffering from a fever that is kind of over 40 degrees and you're really shivering and in, in a bad situation, please do go and take some kind of medication because that can also have adverse effects. But for most kind of low grade fevers, taking paracetamol will not fix the problem, it will not make the bacteria or the virus go away, you just have to rely on your immune system to fight it and get you through it. And the last fact to really show you how extraordinary your body is, is the fact that your heart every day pumps 100,000 times as well as 2,000 gallons of blood every day. Now, if that isn't extraordinary, I don't know what is. All right guys, well, if you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new here or there, please do give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you at all feel you wanna see any more of my content. It really helps me out, makes my day, and um, you know, you guys are the motivation that keeps me going with this channel. So thank you to everyone who supports it, and um, anyone who's not subscribed, please do come and join the HSTB family. Got so much content, I'm always open for video suggestions. Let me know what you guys wanna see down in the comments and if you enjoyed this video do you want a part two because trust me there's a lot of extraordinary facts about the human body and this was only like a tiny drop so yeah I really enjoyed making this video and I hope you have enjoyed it too uh, and yeah I will see you all in my next video goodbye